How's it going everyone? It's Falling Hurts here and today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail on this video we will be talking about House of Ashes from the Dark Pictures Anthology. There was a big gameplay reveal from the game director Will Doyle who I have personally not that familiar with but honestly I gotta say he looks a lot like Aaron from Game Grumps and I can't be the only one. It seems like a pretty likable dude. But getting back into House of the Ashes, one thing I did note almost immediately was the language used to describe the game. It makes it seem like Will, and I suppose he's speaking for the entire studio, is very excited for this game and very hopeful that we all will be as well. Some things used to describe the game was that it was unique and that they are always looking for new ways to frighten us and challenge and surprise the player as well. A developer's confidence like this really does go a long way to sell a game to me in my opinion if the developer thinks the game's going to be fun i have high hopes that it will be as well think of like doom eternal for instance with hugo martin he loves that game and you can tell and it shows completely in the gameplay stepping away from the hypotheticals into something a little more concrete we do know that there are five playable characters which lines up with the other dark pictures games and those five characters are rachel king who is a cia operative and that's of course played by Ashley Tisdale, which many of us are going to know from High School Musical. And then there is her husband, Eric King, and a couple Marines, Jason Kolchek and Nick K. Something I'd like to point out, all four of these American characters all have the last name starting with a K. Thankfully, they missed it by one. They missed a very terrible organization by one K, and that's great. And then, of course, there is the fifth playable character, who is Salim Othman, who is the leader of the Iraqi forces. In the video, Doyle also expresses some of the different inspirations that are impacting House of Ashes. The first, and the one that speaks to me the most, is Aliens. Of course, I think we're going to see that a lot in the creature design. If you look at the claw or the hand of the creature, you can see that very clearly. But that's taking inspiration just a little bit too literally. But maybe more in the design of, like, these creatures might have a hive or something similar to that. But using Aliens specifically, the second movie in the series, you can tell that Marines in way over their heads in a bug hunt scenario might just be what brings this game to perfection, in my opinion. Next up is Predator. The only true thing that I can pick away from this from what we've seen so far is literally just the creature visuals and like the imagery used when you're seeing through the eyes of the creature. You see it in one of the gameplay teasers earlier on and it makes me believe that the creature is actually blind. Which makes a lot of sense. Think the Falmer from Skyrim. They spend so much time underground that they have no use for their eyes. Everything's in pure darkness up until now, of course. And to me, that makes a lot of sense. They use echolocation or something similar to that to see. The third big movie inspiration is The Descent, which if you've ever seen that movie, pretty much going down underground is a big similarity between these two things. And, you know, you can draw other similarities, of course, but I think the setting is going to be the big inspiration they're taking from that one. And it's very clear. It's before we get into the other story details, I did want to go over a little bit of what is changing with House of Ashes compared to the other Dark Pictures games, and I think that's why a lot of people will be interested in this video. One thing is the fixed camera angle or the tank controls from the previous games, as well as Until Dawn, are completely gone and will be pushed more towards a 360 camera style. This is going to help the player traverse and explore the environment and look for clues a lot more efficiently, as well as, in my opinion, could hold potential for a lot more scares. There is now a flashlight button, and it will help you see better and to hopefully find more of your secrets and lore that you will find throughout the world, but one downside of this is it will slow you down. No word yet on if there will be any chase sequences where the flashlight could be a detriment, but there are also now difficulty options to adjust as well, which are going to basically control the speed of quick time events, which will help new players as well as players who didn't really enjoy the difficulty of the last couple. I know sometimes the games don't telegraph quite as well what they're going to want from the player. I've made characters die due to this a few times in Man of Medan personally. One other big mention in the video is that this is the first game in the series to have a higher fidelity version for next-gen advanced consoles. Of course this will be for the PC as well, but overall this is a good thing. Better visuals, better lighting, provides better scares and better atmosphere for sure. Now I do want this video to be as absolutely spoil free as possible and I just wanted to mostly talk about what's changing, but the very basis for the lore of the creatures that we will be meeting in this game, or the demons as they have been called, House of Ashes is taking place mainly in a temple of the kingdom of Akkad. It's ruled by Naram Sin and he is pissed off the gods and his people are cursed, which these are most likely the demons, and that is the most basic version of the lore I can give you. 
If you want the full thing, I genuinely beg you to check out this gameplay. This gameplay teaser has made me feel more for these characters in environments and situations than Little Hope and Man of Medan did combined. Some other takeaways I have concerning the graphics are that the visuals are a very big upgrade. Character models, mostly the teeth I'm noticing, are very good and the lighting looks leaps above what has ever been shown from this studio. The mocap shown for the monster makes it seem like they're taking this very seriously and it's that's awesome because Until Dawn was the last one that the creature seemed really scary to me. Even though it did wear off pretty soon after the initial burst, I thought the game was really well done for it. And I have high expectations for House of Ashes as well. A few other things you do need to know is that there is a curator's cut, which is pretty much a pre-order bonus that allows scenes to play out from new perspectives and different characters to play as in certain scenarios. There's also going to be the co-op and theater modes returning, which is basically couch co-op or... Playing online with friends, which is pretty much a staple of the Dark Picture series at this point. There is still no release date at this time, and I was honestly kind of expecting one at the end of the gameplay reveal, but seeing as how we haven't heard anything yet, I do expect to hear something in the next month or so. Given their track record, I expect this game to release, if not directly by the end of summer, probably October. They are a creature of habit, and I think overall, the more time they spend polishing this game, the better it'll be. They usually don't release with that many issues, but here and there you always get those immersion breaking issues. I'm not really the type to go through frame by frame of a gameplay sequence when it's pretty much just acting as a demo for the whole game. I know we're all pretty excited for this one at this point, but if that's something you're interested in seeing, let me know down below. All right guys, that's all I've got for House of Ashes today, but if you're interested in following any of my E3 coverage or any videos that I'll be posting in the coming weeks regarding E3, or anything that might be revealed or updated during that time, then go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, then go ahead and consider sharing or liking the video. It helps out a lot. But thank you guys for tuning in. Bye. What? Premature.